Hey, what's up, fam? So we got here 68 Impala Fastback, rear trailing arms. This right here uh, is the upper trailing arm. Goes here. We actually had to remove the whole bracket so we can pull it off and take this bolt out. Um, this is in the way here. So just a little update. This does have hydraulics. Front, back, side to side, and three wheel, uh, front only. Um, so it's a little uh, uh, started project, I guess, that I picked up. Um, but all the rear bushings, everything needs to be redone. Uh, so there, that's the upper there. So that, that. Um, also the the other one here. It goes in here, goes to that, that one over there. Um, so we remove those. So this is just being held up by a jack. So if you hold this here, the whole car is being held up on jack stands. Uh, we lifted this one up here, lifted the rear uh, differential axle, and uh, we were able to take these screw sleeves off off of the uh, magic ball here so this got some threads underneath here um, with a set screw so you just loosen that there but uh, not too bad not too bad of a job so um, kind of have a mess here but we already cleaned up those trailing arms, grinded them, painted them already. Not too bad. Had to use a torch, a little mini torch to get the bushings out of here. Uh, it wasn't too bad actually. Seen some pretty good YouTube videos on that already. Um, but that's how it looks. It's a little pitted. Um, wire wheeled it all the way this is the bracket so what I'm using is rust barrier I am grinding all the rust down and everything and just hitting it with this second coat I hit it with this because I want it to be nice and glossy and I want it to be strong um, engine enamel uh, seems to be pretty strong and uh, holds its place. There she is lifted. This is the upper trailing arm here. Ground, grinded off already. All the rust. Like I said it's a little pitted, uh, but it's still not bad. Totally reusable. So once this dries and we're ready to put the bushings, I'm going to hone this area. Hit it with a little wire wheel. A little copper bristle so you don't mess up your surface in there. And we'll be using this energy suspension. We'll see how it is. It's supposed to help with the side-to-side uh, -side motion with the pan hard bar. Oh, there's a pan hard bar by the way. Already did this one as well. Have to remove that before. Excuse the mess here, guys. This is the apple party when we're done with the work. So, we got some new bushings here. Put a pan hard bar. This is gonna slide in here, and I'll have more videos on that. But I just figured this is a great way for us to, uh, to track the project part. And, um,. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will be putting up a video once this is all done. All this here. And uh, I'll be cleaning all this stuff here. So all this will be getting redone. All of that will be getting redone. And uh, once we have this side steadily ready. 
We're gonna paint it all, put everything back together, new bushings, grease, and we're gonna paint up to here, I believe, and um, move on to the passenger side. Fun, fun, fun. So, in the passenger side, I can actually show you the way the bushings work. So as you can see that, bushings are shot. And you can see why my surface is kind of pitted, so. Um, but we just grinded all that off. And, uh, back there, is the other one. I, like I said, this does have hydraulics, so it's cut in some areas. But, um, uh, if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know. I'm very busy. I'll try to get to them, but, um, holla.